What's going on, guys? I got a question. I've been kind of wrestling with the concept of something. I'm really curious to know where you guys stand. So as a writer, I'm always writing uh, really creative storylines, trying to be thrilling, trying to be interesting and exciting. And I'm always, I always wrestle with the concept of superheroes who are willing to go and cross the line, right? Uh, superheroes who are willing to... Uh, injure people to a serious extent, superheroes who are willing to even take the life of someone, kill. I, I don't want to use the word murder, but you, you know what I'm saying. That superhero that will say, you know what, there's a line, but I'm willing to cross it for the sake of justice. And I'm really, really curious as to, is that what we want? for our superheroes. And I know at the end of the day, it's all relative, right? So this person loves this about superheroes. This person loves this about superheroes. But for me, I think I'm a little more of a traditionalist where I like my superheroes to be very defined. I like my superheroes to be not, not, not necessarily perfect, right? Because no one is perfect, uh, you know, in my opinion, except for except for one. Um, so I'm curious, though, because we're into this new day and age where we're talking about, uh, you know, everybody seems to want to see an antihero like antiheroes are more popular now than ever before. And so it makes me wonder, like, is the culture shifting does the average viewer no longer desire to see upstanding uh, superheroes that that always strive for morality, for integrity, for what some people would perceive as righteousness? Uh, is that past? Is that gone? Is it do, is that no longer appealing to? the public at mass, the public at large. I know for me, I'm super enticed by that, um, motivated and inspired by that, right? So I've never been the guy who's like, yo, I want to see more real life in my fiction. For me, like if I want to see nonfiction in my fiction, then I'll just, I'll just, go to nonfiction. I'll, I'll watch a documentary or I'll look at some sort of war uh, history or something like that. But when I go and I travel, when my mind travels to the comic book realm, the superhero genre, the fantasy uh, space, that space of fantasy, then I'm not necessarily looking to see my reality embedded into fantasy. Uh, now, again, that might be me. I'm really curious with you guys. When you see your superheroes, is there still an appeal for your superheroes to be top-notch moral figures uh, where integrity and morality are supreme on the priority list? Or is that super fig super is that superhero figure a thing of the past? Let me know. Welcome to my city, it's a jungle, yeah, it's Toolin'. Solid as a rock, will crumble, cause it's Toolin'. Thanks so much for giving Toolin' just a little bit of your time. We are going to be a beacon of hope in an industry that desperately needs it, and we want you to join us. Head on over to our website at ToolinComics.com and pick up a copy of one of our most recent issues. You can also get fly by picking up some of our merch. From hats to hoodies and t-shirts to tanks, we've got you covered. Also, check out our self-funded full-length animated series. Leave a like, subscribe, and please leave a comment. Thanks for your support and stick with us. It's only the beginning. It's Toolin', baby.